Okay, let's take a look at the Intel reader. Now the reader itself is a compact little number, and quite simply, you have this shoot key on the top, you point, you shoot, and then you play. It's as simple as that. The camera is on the underside, so you need to be holding it in the upright position to capture your image. So basically, you're taking a picture of text, be that a book or a magazine, it is then converted into the spoken word. You play back that spoken word file. It's three simple steps. So to capture your file, to capture your text, you simply hold the camera out and snap. You can then play it back, nice and simple. Well, you might get tired of holding the camera out, as it were. So what we have is a capture station. Now the capture station is portable. It's not too heavy, and it's the size of a small case, so you can tuck it away in the cupboard underneath the stairs when you're done with it. It opens quite simply. And at the top, we have a lovely little cradle, purpose-built, to take the Intel reader. With the camera sat nicely in its cradle, Rather than use the button on the top, it's easy to sit at a desk and use this button at the front. You can then take image after image, page after page, which is held down nicely on this retainer. Any pages, documents or books that you capture on the Intel Reader will be stored in the library. You can access the library, you can rename files, you can delete files. You can transfer your files onto your PC. You can transfer MP3, WAV, or DAISY files from your PC onto the reader. To capture a book is very simple. You will have to do this for every page, but you open the book, you lift the retainer, you place the retainer down, and then it's a two-click process. Click number one, and click number two takes the picture. Once processing is completed, the file is stored in memory. You can then use it at your leisure. Visit sightandsound.co.uk for all the latest information on the Intel Reader.